Hi students, in this session we will discuss about the transform impedance and transform circuits. So we will first determine the transform impedance and admittance representation for each of the elements such as resistance, capacitance, inductance and also we will find the impedance and admittance representation for initial condition sources. See, first of all let us see the resistance and in the case of resistance we are going to draw a circuit which uh, which uh, which contains impedance and, and admittance so first of all we know that in the case of a resistor the voltage and current equations are related by ohm's law right so we can write the voltage equation as c vr of t equal to r into ir of t see here we are representing the voltages and current in time domain time domain means that voltage we are assuming that voltages and current varies with the parameter time so we can represent the voltage equal to resistance into current since we are representing it in the time domain we are including a term t that is why vr of t equal to r into ir of t here the suffix r represents the resistor right so similarly we can write ir of t equal to vr of t divided by r we know that 1 by r will be equal to the conductance the conductance is represented by the letter g that is why ir of t equal to g into vr of t so g will be equal to 1 by r so this is equation 1511 and the, in this case we can write the corresponding transform equations you know we can convert each of the voltages and current in terms of Laplace domain or in, in terms of S domain we can represent it in the S domain so for representing it in the S domain we are taking the Laplace transform of each of the quantities so we can write the corresponding transform equations as V instead of Vr of T we will represent it as Vr of S that will be equal to R is a constant so R comes here and instead of Ir of T we will write Ir of S so vr of s will be equal to r into ir of s similarly ir of s will be equal to 1 by r into vr of s where 1 by r equal to g that is why it will be equal to g into vr of s so we know that uh, impedance is the ratio of voltage to the current so we can write the ratio of transform voltage vr of s to the transform current ir of s is defined as the transform impedance of the resistor so we can represent vr of s divided by ir of s equal to zr of s that is the transform impedance and that will be equal to the resistance see from this equation vr of s divided by ir of s will be equal to 1 by g 1 by g means it is equal to r itself so transform impedance zr of s is equal to resistance r itself similarly we can write the reciprocal of this ratio is the transform admittance. We, you have studied in the first year classes that the inverse of transform impedance or impedance is the admittance. So 1 by ZR of S is equal to YR of S that will be equal to IR of S divided by VR of S that will be equal to 1 by R which is equal to G. So this is the impedance, the transform impedance and a transform admittance in the case of resistance. So when we are considering the impedance, impedance is the resistance itself but when we are considering the admittance, admittance is the conductance G. So we can write the time domain circuit and transform domain circuit in the case of resistor. Suppose we have a resistor R and let IR of T is the current flowing through it and VR of T is the voltage across this resistor then we can transform this resistance into impedance. So this symbol will be like this, it is like a rectangular box and the current will be the transform of IR of T which is IR of S and voltage will be the transform of VR of T which is VR of S. So in the case of resistor there is no further confusion you can directly write the, uh, you can directly row the transform impedance circuit see instead of R ZR comes but the value of ZR will be equal to R itself instead of IR of T and VR of T we will show IR of S that is S domain values of current and S domain values of voltages. So figure 15.55a shows a network representing resistor R, current IR of T and voltage VR of T in time domain. And figure 15.5b that is this circuit shows the 
network representation of the same resistor and also transform current IR of S and VR of S. So, if you are asked to write the transform domain circuit for a resistor, you simply draw this circuit, okay. Next, we will consider the inductance. Here, we want to find out the transform impedance and the transform admittance of the inductor. So, let us see, starts from the basic equation of inductor, that, that means we will start from the voltage and current equations of the inductor. So, for the inductance, the time domain relation between the current in inductor, IL of T and the voltage VL of T across the inductor is represented as VL of T equal to L into D IL of T divided by DT. See, this is the time domain representation, that means we are assuming that the voltage is, is a function of time and also we are assuming that the current is a function of time. So VL of T equal to we can write it as and our voltage and current are varying with the time that is why we are um, saying that it is a time domain relation. So VL of T equal to L into DIL of T by DT. See you know that V is equal to L into D, uh, L into I that is the, L into DI by DT that is the basic equation for inductor. That is the same this is the same re equation like that. Similarly, we can write the current through the inductor as IL of T is equal to 1 by L into integral minus infinity to T VL of T into DT. These are the basic equation for the inductor. From this equation, we are deriving or we are representing the, we are getting the transform domain equation. See, here we can take the Laplace transform of this equation. That is, we are converting this time domain into S domain. When we are converting this time domain equation into S domain, here there is a differential term. When differentiation comes, when we are taking the Laplace transform, this differentiation will change to algebraic equation. Differential equation will change to algebraic equation. That is why we are taking Laplace tra uh, transform of a particular equation. So when we are converting a differential equation into an algebraic equation, the analysis will be easy. That is why we are taking S domain or S transform or um, Laplace uh, transform methods. So when we are taking the Laplace transform of VL of T, we will get VL of S equal to, see there is a differential term comes, when differentiation comes, it's a Laplace transform will be, see L is a constant, that is why I am taking L outside and inside the bracket we are writing the Laplace transform of this term. So derivative of a function will give the Laplace transform is S into IL of S minus IL of 0 plus. So S into IL of S. IL of, S, IL of T is the function. Its Laplace transform is IL of S minus. Next one is the initial condition. Initial condition for this IL of T is IL of 0 plus. So this is the transform equation for this voltage. Similarly, we can write the transform equation for this current also. Now we, we are not writing its equation. Actually, we are rearranging this equation. So we can rearrange this equation by taking this term to the left side. That is means L into S into IL of S we will keep there and we will take this term into this side. So VL of S plus L into IL of 0 plus will give equal to LS into IL of S. In this case IL of S can be written as IL of see here this is there is a term IL of S and IL of S can be written as 1 by LS into VL of S plus 1 by LS into L into IL of 0 plus, right? So before that, we have to, we want to draw the corresponding circuit for this inductor. Up to this, using these equations, we can draw the corresponding circuit for this inductance. Next, we will see that, see, here you can see that, this is equation 15.15 that is current equation and this is voltage transformed voltage equation. We have to draw this circuit of this circuit, right? So in equation 15.15 and equation 15.16, VL of S is the transform of the applied voltage VL of T and L into IL of 0 plus is the transform voltage caused by the initial current IL of 0 plus present in the inductor at a time T equal to 0 plus C. This is equation 15.15, this is IL of T and this is VL of S. And this in this equation, VL of S comprises of two terms, right? And this VL of S is the transform of this VL of T, right? And IL of 0 plus represents 
ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം വോൾട്ടേജ് കോസ്റ്റ് ബൈ ദി ഇനീഷ്യൽ കറണ്ട് ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് സീറോ പ്ലസ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി ഇൻഡക്ടർ സി ദിസ് ടേം കറസ്പോണ്ട്സ് ടു ദി ദിസ് വോൾട്ടേജ് റൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് സീറോ പ്ലസ് ഈസ് ദി ഇനീഷ്യൽ കണ്ടീഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം വോൾട്ടേജ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം വോൾട്ടേജ് ദാറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം വോൾട്ടേജ് ഈസ് കോസ്റ്റ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി ഇനീഷ്യൽ കറണ്ട് ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് സീറോ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി ഇൻഡക്ടർ സപ്പോസ് വി ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദി കൺസിഡർ ദി സം ഓഫ് ദി ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം വോൾട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ഇനീഷ്യൽ കറണ്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് എസ് വി വൺ ഓഫ് എസ് സി ഹിയർ വി ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദിസ് വി എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് വി എൽ എഫ് എസ് ഇസ് ദി ട്രാൻസ്ഫോംഡ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഓഫ് വി എൽ എഫ് ടി ആൻഡ് ഐ എൽ എഫ് സീറോ പ്ലസ് ഈസ് ദി ട്രാൻസ്ഫോംഡ് വോൾട്ടേജ് കോസ്റ്റ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി കറണ്ട് ഇനീഷ്യൽ കറണ്ട് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി ഇൻഡക്ടർ സോ ഇഫ് വി ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദീസ് ടു ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് എസ് വി വൺ സോ ദിസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ വിൽ ബിക്കം എൽ എസ് ഇൻ ടു ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വി വൺ സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് സി എൽ എസ് ഇൻ ടു ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വി വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പിഡൻസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വോൾട്ടേജ് ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ കറണ്ട് സോ വി വൺ ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എൽ എസ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് എസ് ഇമ്പിഡൻസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സെഡ് എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വി വൺ ഓഫ് എസ് ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ ഐ എൽ ഓഫ് എസ് that is equal to ls so this is the impedance in this case so first we are taking the voltage equation and we will find the laplace transform of the equation and we will rearrange that equation and we will make a substitution v1 of s is equal to this term and by rearranging we will get the impedance is equal to zl of s that is transformed impedance is equal to v1 of s divided by i l of s equal to sl so corresponding to the time domain we can draw the inductance circuit the time domain inductance circuit as a, there is a inductor l and let the initial current flowing through the inductor is equal to i l of t and the corresponding voltage is equal to v l of t and here i l of 0 plus represents the initial current in the inductor so this is the this is the time domain representation for the inductor next we want to draw the transform domain so figure 15.6 this is 15.6 that shows the time domain network representation of the inductor l and the current i l of t through it and the applied voltage v l of t and now we have the transform domain equation for that inductor and in that inductor you can see there are different terms that is v l of s and l into i l of 0 plus etc terms will be there and so we can draw the transform representation of the same inductor as i l of t will change to i l of s and v l of t will change to v l of t but instead of inductor there will, will be two terms see that is v l of s plus l into i l of 0 plus and i 1 by ls will comes here you can see that the current see if you are seeing this voltage equations total voltage will be the sum of these two terms right so you can write the transform uh, transform uh, domain circuit as tra transform impedance transform impedance circuit as like this that means it contains a current source and also a series admittance series impedance which has a value ls you know that impedance value is ls right that is obtained from this equation so this current source is connected to this impedance and uh, the transformed current will be i l of s and the transformed voltage will be v l of s this v l of s is the voltage drop across this term and this term that is obtained from this equation right v l of s is v l of s is the sum of this term and this term and these two terms we are converting into the circuit that means i l of s flowing through the circuit part l s similarly i l of 0 plus represents a current source so that is why uh, it is represented uh, with ls and a current source l into i l of 0 plus so this is a transform impedance representation for the inductor so if you asked to draw the transform impedance circuit of an inductor you should direct you can directly draw this circuit uh, and in which an impedance is ls is connected in series with a current source of value l into i l of 0 plus similarly we can write the we have the equation i l of s c 
So in this equation IL of S is equal to 1 by LS into VL of S plus L into IL of 0 plus divided by LS. So we can write the equation as a, see IL of S will be equal to VL of S by S into plus integral minus infinity to 0 plus VL of T into DT by S into 1 by LA. See there is 1 by LS. This is IL of S and this term is L into IL of 0 plus. So IL of S will become VL of S divided by LS plus IL of 0 plus divided by S. And this equation we will directly get from this equation. See when we are rearranging this equation we will get IL of S value as VL of S by LS plus IL of 0 plus divided by S. That is this equation. See this equation and in this case this, this IL of 0 plus IL of 0 plus value is obtained by this relationship. So we can write it. 1 by LS into VL of S in this term will be equal to IL of S minus IL of 0 plus divided by S. So this is the voltage transformed voltage equation and in this case we can if we are writing IL of S minus IL of 0 plus divided by S is equal to I1 of S. So this is I1 of S then we can write that equation as 1 by LS into VL of S is equal to I1 of S. These all are simple rearrangements and substitutions. So in this case we know that admittance will be the ratio of current by voltage. So I1 of S by VL of S will give the admittance. So we can write I1 of S by VL of S will be equal to YL of S, YL of S which is the admittance. And from this equation that admittance will be equal to 1 by LS, right. When we are rearranging this equation. IL of S by VL of S will be equal to 1 by LS. But we know that IL of S by VL of S is equal to admittance that is represented by YL of S. So this admittance will be equal to 1 by LS. So by using this equation, right, this is the equation, this is the current equation, we can draw the transform in, in admittance circuit. So this is the equation. So we can draw the transform. This is the equation IL of S is equal to 1 by L into VL of S by S plus IL of 0 plus by S. And here you can see that this is the total transformed current and this current will be this will also be a current this is another current. So when we are representing the current we can represent it. these two are the sum of the currents that means we can represent it in the two parallel branches. So we can write if a, there is an inductor L and the current through the initial current through the inductor is IL of 0 plus and the time domain current is IL of T and the time domain voltage is VL of T. Then the corresponding admittance circuit will be obtained from this equation. That means it will contain a current source whose value is IL of 0 plus divided by S and there is another admittance circuit and its value is 1 by LS. So we can draw, redraw this inductor circuit by using this admittance, transform admittance like this. That means IL of S is the transformed current value, VL of S is the transformed voltage value. And this current will be the sum of two parallel branch current that is why it is represented like this. And in this one component is an admittance whose value is 1 by LS. Another component is a current source and its value is IL of 0 plus divided by S. Actually these topics we have discussed in the uh, transformed circuits but it is an improvement or it is uh, some additional um, points uh, here uh, some additional points is incorporated in, in, in that session. Okay. Uh, in that session we have discussed about the transformed circuit only here transformed impedance and transformed admittance circuits are discussing okay so this is all about this topic thank you